everyone and thank you for joining me. I'm out to the cabin today. Um, I actually went turkey hunting this morning. Um, it's early September. Uh, season just opened. I didn't see any turkey. Saw quite a few deer actually. Which is good too. Uh, bow season is open but I usually hunt turkeys first. So, But today I decided I'm going to start working on these solar panels. Now these are 100 watt a piece. Uh, my little brother bought them for the cabin. Uh, he couldn't be here to help me build them right now. Um, but we're just putting them up. And this is kind of a temporary thing. I mean, it's built solid. It's, but it is not treated wood. Um, last weekend I poured the concrete uh, bases here. And uh, this is treated. Um, I don't know if any of you have tried to <laughs> get lumber for building lately. But uh, even like OSB is 20 bucks a sheet, and uh, lumber is, is scarce right now. So I, I don't know why, if everybody is building or whatever. So I figured I would try this first. Um, I've had some comments that I should put uh, the solar panels on the roof of the cabin. And there's some validity to that, too. There's no doubt. Um, but I really didn't design the roof structure to support uh, solar panels first of all. Second of all I'd have to build some kind of metal bracing to hold the panels up there. Uh, also if there were any trouble with them you'd have to have a long ladder to get them. And there are, they have its advantages and disadvantages. The other thing actually uh, once the uh, leaves are gone the roof does get a fair bit of sun, but in the summer times, a lot of times it doesn't. Now right here, this is like an open spot, and there were two very large white pines here many years ago when they got smashed by the storm. I mean, I don't know, 15 years ago. And so slowly I cleaned up this area. We always kind of use it as a campground area, and then it turned into, you know, why don't I put up a small cabin, which is what, what I did. And uh, working on this today again, um, I really missed, I really miss uh, construction work on the cabin actually. I haven't done any in the last year or so. Um, I've been so busy with work and other things coming up and uh, I uh, haven't made many videos either and I apologize for that. So I do have plans for more work here but for right now let's get the solar panels in and this video basically just shows the building of the the structure to house the solar panels. So um, I kind of ballpark the angle. Uh, probably it, it's uh, everybody has a different take on how what angle you should use. The only thing I'm not really sure how this is going to work is because of snow and the snow load. And we'll see. It's high enough, um, but of course there's a two-inch lip here all the way around that'll hold snow. So, I don't know. Most solar panel structures I've seen actually were mounted to the surface, but I didn't want to try that just yet. This is kind of a temporary thing. So hopefully next spring, if this works out, if this turns out to be a good spot, um, then I will construct it a little bit differently. I'll attach them uh, through the metal permanently to the wood, and I'll use treated, I'll use treated 2x4s and treated lumber. In the build process so and that'll make it quite a bit more permanent um, I've seen decks go 15 20 years these solar panels won't last that long probably um, at work I've used had a few solar panel setups and I had one just like this polycrystalline same wattage I mean it actually went out in like three years and of course it was my fault it was an installation problem uh, supposedly, which I don't think it was. I had two of them. The other one is still working to this day, and that was like eight years ago. But on average, when I talked to them back then, uh, when we put those in, and that was for basically for street signs, uh, remote street signs where you didn't have, you know, electricity handy, um, they basically said, you know, you're looking at a 15-year lifespan on these polycrystallines. So. And they're not ex they're not super expensive, so I'll put a link in the description. Uh, my little brother bought these. He also bought the solar controller that we're going to use, um, and I'm going to have that in my next video. 
I'll hook up, uh, run the wiring, hook the solar controller up. Uh, this is probably enough for today. I'm going to be running out of time. I have a few other things I want to do. And uh, this is a, you know, pretty, pretty handy uh, setup if it works for charging our batteries. Uh, a couple things that I found out when you do solar panels, you need connectors, and they have a specific type of connector that they use. So I actually bought a kit. I think it was thirty dollars on Amazon. I can put a link in the description. Um, no big deal. It was. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's connectors and it's a crimper. It's the whole kit so that you can crimp those connectors on. They're supposed to be watertight and everything. So that's that's good. Uh, the wire basically we're going to bury a little bit of Romex. Um, you know, I mean just regular good underground house wiring. Uh, I'm going to use number 10. Uh, this is going to be uh, in parallel. So it'll be 100. I got to check out my controller. I, I might be able to run them in series. And then this would be 200. Or this would be 24 volts. Um, so I, there are some advantages to running at 24 volts. If the controller will convert it to 12 volts to charge the battery, otherwise you got to run them in parallel to get your 12 volts. And then it's either way, I guess it's 200, uh, 200 watt maximum. Now, obviously here you're probably not going to get 200 watt maximum, uh, uh, you know, from the sun until you know probably noon until three, four o'clock. So that's really what I'm hoping for. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Um, if you like this video, subscribe, thumbs up, share. If you like this kind of content, um, I'm hoping to do more building again on the cabin. And I do some cabin life. I like spending time out here too, of course. I don't know, doing some other stuff, fishing. It, it, my channel is Outdoor Channel. So if you like that kind of thing, please subscribe, thumbs up, share with your friends. And uh, leave a comment, say hi. I'll get back to everybody as much as I can. You got any suggestions or anything on this electric solar panel? I know a lot of people have done this already, so this is not new territory for most people. Like I said, I've worked with it a little bit at work, and, uh, you know, other than that. So we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.